basically my wife wanted to come to Australia to live. Um, I advised her I'm not coming unless my car arrives with us, so and that's what happened. Hi, I'm um, Glenn Walker and uh, behind me is my 1960 C1 Corvette. Um, it's running a 283 small block with a four speed manual. into cars um, since I was about 16, uh, panel beater by trade from uh, New Zealand and um, obviously my passion is old classic cars. The reason why I got into the old uh, cars as such is um, it, it, I wanted to become a refrigeration engineer back in, in my early days of uh, school, but obviously uh, wasn't intelligent enough to actually be a uh, refrigeration engineer, not getting any of the uh, subjects for school for that. So I ended up um, got in getting an apprenticeship as a panel beater. Uh, as my parents said, I wasn't allowed to leave school until I had a trade. So, and my mum said to me at the time that I liked working on cars, which in those days I had Mark II Escorts. Uh, first car was a Datsun 180B, and um, my passion grew from there. Um, so, it's been been a good ride, a good journey of learning all this this stuff. Uh, when I was doing my apprenticeship at the time, I, I got taught the old school way, where my boss still had lead wiping paddles and. Um, things like that, so I, I got taught how the old boys used to do it in the day and it's uh, been a, a, a joy to learn those uh, trades, um, so yeah, I've enjoyed it. As, as you can see, probably in the background, there's a uh, 1961 Chev Bel Air uh, right hand drive, uh, New Zealand U. Um, I've had that one about 19 years now, and um, basically, my wife wanted to come to Australia to live. Um, I advised her I'm not coming unless my car arrives with us, so, and that's what happened. So, it's here in, the, in progress at the moment. Uh, this is having a full rebuild, um, rest, uh, chassis repairs uh, being done, uh, full rotisserie. Um, so hopefully in the next couple of years you might see that on the streets of uh, Queensland and uh, enjoying ourselves how it should be driven, so yeah. The reason why I chose these uh, good old American cars is they've just got some style about them. Um, like you say, you don't see them like on that in cars of today. Um, so they've just got lots of chrome, got the bling, um, and everyone looks at them when you're driving down the street and you get the thumbs up, so it gives you a bit of a warm fuzzy feeling inside because people do appreciate uh, the, the era of that past, um, which is a good thing. And like you say, when you pull up to petrol stations and stuff like that, you get like the young kids, that they come through and they have a look at it and they give you a thumbs up. So, you know, you might try to make them have a good day themselves, let them sit in it and have a feel of the steering wheel and, and oh, they get a real big kick out of it. So it's good to pass that um, kind of generation knowledge down to from hand to hand to different people because um, that's how everyone learns. Um, so it's, it's pretty good when you're out there cruising and, and people are just giving you a thumbs up. So, yeah, it's a great experience. the uh, 
1960 in behind us, it's always been one of our cars we've always uh, dreamt of owning. Um, particularly this one, we found this one here in Brisbane oh, about two, three years ago. We've had this for now and um, the plan was we were going to go to the States uh, for my wife's birthday, but obviously due to COVID, um, we couldn't get over there and we were going to try and look for one over there and do the Route 66 tour and bring it back to Australia, but um, obviously that couldn't happen, so we've uh, found this one behind us. Uh, we look it takes a bit of time to try and actually look for these kind of cars, um, especially ones that are reasonably in good nick for the age of them. Um, so yeah, it takes a bit of time trying to find the right one. So. Uh Lucky enough, my wife was um, searching uh, on social media and, and those forms and, and found this online and um, we went down and had a look at it and about five half hours after looking at the vehicle, making sure everything's right like kit, we uh, put a deposit down and uh, here she is sitting in my garage today and we enjoy it every weekend because we're out in uh, the car every weekend so they're made to be driven, not put in a shed so it's, um, yeah, it's good.